Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna be recreating some viral TikTok heatless curls that I saw and I was like, we gotta do this. So let's go ahead and get started. But first off, you are gonna need some socks. I'm just using some ankle socks because that's what the girl in the video used was ankle socks. Luckily, I just bought a pack of these nice white socks so you guys don't have to see my crusty, dirty, like brown stained socks, very fine. So this was actually the video that popped up on my For You page and it intrigued me. So I clicked on it and looked at her other videos. I saw this hair and I was like, whoa, that is pretty. And I saw the socks and I was like, wait a minute. Um, her hair looks beautiful. So what she does is she takes a section and a sock and just rolls it up towards the top of her head. Now, I have seen a video where she stuck a flexi rod inside of her sock. So I'm gonna test out both methods. So you can see here, there's the flexi rod. So I'm not sure how she got the first one to stay. I think just a clip. And then when you have the flexi rods inside the sock, because they're bendy, you don't need to like clip it or anything. You can just bend the flexi rods and it should stay. I saw another video where she used um, a curling iron first rolled it up and then did the socks and I was like, man, that's smart, but I don't really want to use heat on my hair. So we're going to try it the heatless way. If it doesn't work out, then I will try it with heat um, just to see what happens. So first up, we're going to do it without the flexi rods in them. And then for the other, for the back, we're going to use the flexi rods. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna take a section just right at the top of my head. Now I do have some layers, but she has layers too, so I'm hoping mine holds up well because hers just looks so beautiful. And then just roll it in. I'm trying to make sure I grab everything. So I don't know how she secured this. She, I think she said a clip, but like, what? Mm, I don't like that. Back up. I'm gonna take that clip out. So I think she just folded her sock over, which is what I wanted to do, but I wanted to copy her. So you just take the opening of your sock, just pull it over everything. I think that's what she did. It's kind of hard to tell. But that makes sense because this would this is nice and secure. It's not gonna like move or anything. So now we're gonna try the method where we put some flexi rods in our sock. So it looked like she used like two or three. So you just stick the flexi rods in your sock. Just like that, you see them? There's three in there. Now I'm gonna take a section of hair. All right, and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bend on down. Go up, wrap my ends around the middle of the sock, and then just roll in towards my head. Make sure everything is nice and tightly rolled. So I guess I'm just going to bend these like in. So I'm taking the flexi rods and just kind of bending them. Okay. That feels good. I don't know if it matters, but these are like the medium size. I bought just a big pack off of Amazon a few months ago when I did this heatless curls video. And honestly, I hated these. Um, the curls were pretty, but I slept in them. So I, maybe if you don't sleep in them, it'd be okay. You just left it in for a couple hours, but very uncomfortable to sleep in. Curious to know what happens. Curious to know if it just all falls out in the middle of the night while I sleep. That will suck. Here's what it looks like. I highly encourage sleeping with maybe like a shower cap over this or just take like an old t-shirt and wrap it up somehow. This is my like microfiber towel for my hair. And I think I'm just gonna wrap it up in this. Fingers crossed. We have like a beautiful voluminous blowout. I don't know. I don't have high hopes because it's my hair, but we'll see. <laughs> all right, so it is the next day. This actually was not uncomfortable at all to sleep in. You can see this top one, it's basically coming out. If I could do this one over, I probably would have put a hair tie over it or just stuck a flexi rod in it because look at these things, you guys. These did not budge. Like they are still well intact. 
I am not a back sleeper, so I'm a side sleeper and these worked out great. If you are a back sleeper, then honestly, you could just do these on the side of your head and it would work out good. But I'm ready to take these out and hopefully, fingers crossed, they turned out good. So let's see. All right, first one. Just gonna unravel it. So sorry if you hear screaming kids in the background. It's almost their nap time. Oh. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna unbend the flexi rods and just roll it down. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna use my fingers and run it through my hair. So again, this is supposed to be like a blowout kind of look. We're not going for rope curls. If we wanted like the rope curls, you know, spirally curls, we would do rope curls. Should I brush it? I don't know. This is looking a little crazy. Let me brush a little bit. Okay, this side looks really good. I like this side. This side's a little, a little much. <laughs> I wonder if I can just keep brushing it, if it'll just kind of relax a little bit. It's not horrible. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it might be a little better. <laughs> hmm. Should I try it with the curling iron and see how that works or just kind of give up? I'm gonna try just like wrapping it around my finger. It's, it's not the curls that I would normally do, but it's not bad. We could keep playing around with this and, and see what comes from it, but for the first time ever trying this, it's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like just this front section right here is throwing me off, so I'm wondering if maybe I just did it too tight, if I should have put like the bigger um, flexi rods in the sock and maybe it would have been a little bit looser and then it would have worked out great, but we'll just have to try next time. But I'm just going to do a 360, show you guys these curls, and you can let me know what you think. Are you going to try this? One out of 10, what do you give it? As far as it being comfortable to sleep in, 10 out of 10. No issues. As far as like overall appearance, mm, maybe like a five and a half. I don't know. You guys rate it and, and comment down below. It's definitely worth trying out, you know, why not? What do you have to lose? But let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one.